Earlier this week, I shared a Fetch AI price prediction video based on FET being its own token. Now, shortly after publishing this video, the news broke out that there was going to be a AI crypto merger with three projects, FET being one of them. So in today's video, I'm just going to very quickly go through the initial reaction, my initial thoughts to this merger. Obviously, I am a FET holder. A lot of you guys are FET holders and you're probably wondering what this actually means. Now, I've waited a few days to share this video just to get the right information, to get the confirmation and then put together some initial thoughts. Now, you probably notice I'm not in the usual location. I am still away on my vacation. So apologies if the video, if the audio isn't up to the usual standard, but I thought it was important to get this video out as soon as possible. If you do enjoy it, please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, but let's get started by having a look at what's actually going on. So now we're going to go through the official statement from Fetch AI. They published on their Medium that this merger will be going ahead and shared some further details. So we're going to go into this now and break it down. So starting at the top, we can see the three projects involved. It will be Singularity, Net, Ocean Protocol, and Fetch. Now, a lot of you guys who, especially those who watched the recent Fetch price prediction video, are going to be very interested in what this means for their bags. So we can see that they will be coming together and the new ticker for this will be ASI, which stands for Artificial Super Intelligence. Uh, I think that sums up pretty nicely what they're aiming to achieve here. They want to be the, the powerhouse in AI in crypto. So what is ASI? So Fet is the reserve currency of the Super Intelligence Alliance, and it will be changing its name to ASI. Now, I think because FET is the biggest by market cap, also the highest in token price, that is why FET is going to be the, I guess, the leader in this situation. So we can see here that this is all pending a successful governance proposal. Now, this isn't just for the FET community, it also has to be uh, across the ocean and singularity net communities as well. But we can see here that the voting will soon be open. Uh, this will open on April 2nd. Fetch will have their voting completed on the 7th and the rest of the proposals are all scheduled to complete voting by the 16th. So by the middle of April, we're going to have a very good idea of what people's general consensus of the situation is and I guess if it's actually going to go ahead. Now, because FET is going to be the uh, reserve currency here, uh, you'll be able to swap your tokens, your FET tokens, one for one for ASI. So very straightforward and a little bit later on in the article, we'll find out more for Ocean and uh, Singularity Net holders as well. So as we keep going through it, we can see that there is going to be a different conversion rate for those token holders. The ASI token will be what FET currently is, so it'll be a rename of the token. And of course, this is going to have an impact on the market cap and the FDV with that. So the combined values of the three projects is set to be around a $7.5 billion market cap. I think this is slightly higher now. Uh, I think there's been pumps across the board um, with people looking to buy more tokens so they can convert them to ASI when that time comes. So I guess that's a pretty bullish sign, but time will tell. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see more details and the breakdown of exactly what this means when it comes to the amount of tokens, the market cap, uh, circulating supplies, fully diluted values and all that stuff. Now I won't get into that in too much detail in this video, this is just a quick recap of what's going on and my initial thoughts and then over time we'll probably cover this in a lot more detail. So we'll keep scrolling down now and then we can see here for token holders of ASI it's going to be at around 0.43 ASI tokens uh, per ocean and a very similar fixed rate for the AGIX holders. So I think at the time of recording, we can see that FET is currently trading at around $3.20. We can see that Singularity Net is quite close to 
around the 140 mark and Ocean Protocol is in a very similar boat at around 138. So I can see why the conversion rates for them two projects are very similar and are not obviously as high as FET based on the price per unit. So that makes sense. Of course, market caps have to be considered, but like we said, we'll get into that in another video. But I think that pretty much sums up nicely what is actually going on here. When it comes to token holders who currently have tokens, they won't have to do anything. This will be an automated swap. They'll have to work very closely with a lot of exchanges to get this right. I can imagine there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes, but generally for the end user, you won't have to do much. Uh, then tokens should automatically convert. Now a lot of people at this point are probably wondering if this is a good or a bad thing for their bags and there's definitely arguments to both sides so I'm just going to share my initial thoughts at this point of course these opinions can change as we get more information but I think right now there are definitely arguments for both sides. So some of the positives that I see is the ambition that we can see from the three projects here. They want to compete with the big boys of the Web2 world. So we're talking about Microsoft, Google, Apple, OpenAI. They want to compete in the real world with the biggest players. And I cannot argue with that type of ambition. If they pull it off, it's going to be very beneficial for bag holders. The other thing as well, it goes without saying then, if they are competing at that level, they are going to be the blue chip AI project of crypto. We can already see with the market cap that is shaping up, it's going to be a pretty big player. But with the three projects coming together, you could argue that the upside potential uh, is far higher than what it would have been if these guys were working individually. And then the other positive, of course, is the amount of Gigabrain employees and founders that are going to be coming together and working together here. So I see this as a huge positive because the amount of talent within the teams that will be pooling together could really be uh, a huge benefit for them collectively. Now, when it comes to the negatives, you could actually argue that this could be a negative because when there's so many big personalities, egos, founders coming together, there could be some clashes along the way. Of course, a lot of that stuff is probably going to be kept internally, shouldn't be leaked to the public, but there is always the chance that there are clashes, disagreements, um, but I would like to think that they've talked through these things and the vision, the long-term vision, all that stuff thoroughly before agreeing to merge. Also, when it comes to the negative side of things, of course, you could argue that, well, I was bullish on FET and not Ocean or not Singularity Net, and now I'm kind of being forced to be bullish on all three collectively. Now, I'm not saying that they are bad projects. I am a FET holder. I don't hold Ocean. I don't hold Singularity Net. It's not because I don't like them personally. I just don't know enough about them. I've never gone into in-depth research but I've always found that FET was something that I personally was extremely bullish on for a number of reasons. And now I have to be bullish on these other projects as well. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, but if you are a diehard FET holder, then you know you may feel a little bit cheating here. So that's all I'm going to share on the situation at this point. Just my initial thoughts, but until we get more information, until it unfolds a little further, it is hard to give solid concrete opinions. Now, it does go without saying that the price prediction video from earlier this week for FET does go out of the window here because the theories, the numbers that we ran behind those predictions have all changed. But that does, doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bearish thing because if they do become the powerhouse in AI that, that they plan to be, this could be extremely bullish. It's just too early to say at this point. Now I will be updating everybody on this situation, so do subscribe, don't miss future updates. As a FET holder myself, it's in my best interest to keep on top of this stuff, and I'll be sharing it with you guys. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like, subscribe, and comment and let me know what you think of this situation. In the meantime, please do trade safe, invest safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.